What we have in here is many foam wedges that absorb sound oh, yeah. so that amazing. as you come in you can hear that the sound will change and indeed the noise out there will get shut out and this is where we're going to do the recording. This is Annie who's going to sing for us. Hello, Well, what we're doing here is we're analysing the sound of the voice, in this case, by picking up the acoustic signal with a microphone, which is essentially doing what your eardrums are doing. It vibrates with this incoming sound wave. And that's what we're seeing in this display across the top. Yeah. So this, this display at the top, uh, you, you can see that the wigglies are changing here. Yeah. And this is the way the air's vibrating with time. The big display at the bottom is showing us an analysis of this sound and this is the same analysis as each of your ears are providing your brain with. And you sing a long note, don't worry about the length of the note and the score, and adapt it in your mind as if you're in a big building. Because of course in this acoustic it's uh, all being mopped up by these wedges on the walls. And what we'll do is we'll look in this region here and see whether we get something growing here as yeah. she changes the sound. In our experiments, it's looking as if that particular ring is happening way up here, which is way above the normal speech area. And it's in this region up here, around about 8,000 hertz, which is the frequency where it's happening, where there's something appearing when you get that ringy, shimmery sound. So and that's a thing essentially sending kind of shivers it, down your spine absolutely. when you Absolutely. For some people, it notes. shivers down the spine. It's a tingle. Yeah. And it's something that just makes you sit up. And it seems to almost communicate with the soul. It's something way beyond the words. It's way beyond the music. It's something about the emotional content, which is going from the brain of the singer straight through to the brain of the listener. And, and it's affecting... you can affecting pin that down with the frequency. Well, it has to get from A to B. It has to get from the mouth of the singer to the ears of the listener, so it can only be acoustic.